Today we will learn about some advanced instructions. So firstly we have the dump registers. It basically you can say that it shows the values of um, flags and status of our flags or values of our registers on the screen. Okay. Uh, dump registers print the current value of all the registers and flags. The values printed by dump registers are in hexadecimal form. We have to uh, remember this thing and how we can use this uh, you can see this uh, procedure this instruction we have to write the syntax as call and then dump registers okay and it will show us the values of all the registers and the, all the flex we will see this through example as well later on uh, here we have to consider one thing which is uh, we have seen already that move procedure require both operands to be of the same size we have discussed this thing many times that we cannot copy a you can say 8 bit value into a 16 bit register or 8 bit value into the you can say the um, uh, 32 bit registers but a 8 bit value an 8 bit value can only be stored into the 8 bit register that is al right when one byte is moved to AL that is 8-bit value is moved into the 8-bit register it overrides the existing value of AL but all the values of other bytes of the EX register remains same it means that if we have a value of 8-bit if we have 8-bit register then the AL value was added to the value of our new values रिप्लेस हो जाएगी लेकिन अगर हम पूरे EAX की बात करें रजिस्टर की बात करें तो वहां पे जो हमारी पहले प्रीवियस वैल्यू सपोज AL से जो पहले की वैल्यू वहां पे AL से जो यू कैन से द लेफ्ट साइड पे जो वैल्यू पड़ी हुई थी वो वहीं की वहीं पड़ी हुई अभी तक ठीक है वो रिप्लेस नहीं हुई वो हमारे पास गार्बेज वैल्यू एज अ गार्बेज वैल्यू पड़ी हुई है और AL में हम जो वैल्यू मूव करवा रहे हैं वो AL जो है उस EAX के लोअर पार्ट यानी कि AL में जाके वो न्यू वैल्यू आ चुकी है जो पहले वाली वैल्यू है वो वहीं पर पड़ी हुई होगी ओके व्हेन वन डी वर्ड दैट इज अ 32 बिट इंटीजर इज मूव्ड टू द 32 बिट रजिस्टर दैट इज एक्स इट ओवरराइड्स ए एक्स आप ये डिफरेंट केस है कि जब हमारे पास जब हम कोई 32 बिट नंबर 32 बिट के रजिस्टर में मूव करते हैं तो डेफिनेटली पूरा का पूरा ई एक्स इसकी अब की बात जो है वो रिप्लेस हो जाता है अब ई एक्स के अंदर हमें पता है कि एक्स का हाफ पार्ट ए एक्स कहलाता है तो डेफिनेटली जब पूरा का पूरा ए एक्स ई एक्स रिप्लेस हो रहा है तो इट मींस कि ए एक्स भी तो रिप्लेस हो रहा है जो हम नई वैल्यू डाल रहे हैं ठीक है इफ 0 इज मूव्ड टू ए एक्स दैट इज इफ 0 इज मूव्ड टू द लोअर हाफ ऑफ द ई ए एक्स रजिस्टर दैट इज ax all the values of the lower 16 bits of ax that is uh, lower 16 bits mean only ax register will become zero ab hum jab sirf aur sirf ax mein zero move kar rahe hain to iska matlab kya hai ki jo upper half hai hamara ax register ka wo as it is pada hua hai aur sirf ax jo lower half hai wahan pe mark us kya hai zero aa raha hai इस चीज को हम जो है वो ज्यादा अच्छे से अंडरस्टैंड करते हैं विद द हेल्प ऑफ यू कैन से आईडी एंड आई हैव रिटन द कोड ओवर हियर एज ऑलरेडी लाइक हियर वी कैन सी वी आर हैविंग आवर यू कैन से वेरिएबल ऑफ टाइप बाइट दैट इज 8 बिट्स इनिशियलाइज्ड विद 78 देन यू कैन से 16 बिट नंबर देन वी हैव आवर 32 बिट नंबर ओके फर्स्टली आई एम मूविंग दिस रैंडम नंबर यू कैन से 32 बिट नंबर इनटू द EX register. Since this is a 32 bit number, so the whole EX, you can see the results over here, the whole EX is getting replaced by that value. That is, 32 bit register is going to replace by 32 bit value completely, no issue. And we can see this result on the screen by using this call temp register. It will display us within the values of all the registers, but we are still concerned, only concerned about the EAX register, so I am displaying it over here as well. And next, what I am doing, you can see that I am moving the 8-bit value, that is 1 byte, 8-bit value into the 8-bit register. And we know that EX is a complete register, half of the EX register is called as this AX register and further half of this AX is called as the AL register. We must know this thing, okay? 
so I am moving 8 bit value into the 8 bit register now what will happen you will see here the previous EX value is still over there but only the lower half of the EX that is 7 and 8 from here you can see the byte value was 7 and 78 in hexadecimal this 78 is going to be written over here that is these two last two values that is you can say the ex part and the uh, el part is replaced by the new value and the uh, you can say the left garbage is uh, left side of there you can see the garbage is still there this is what we have we had explain, explained it through the uh, theory as well right you can see this result with uh, using this register step by step we are seeing the results as well next what we are doing we are moving the 16 bit value into the 16 bit register and now what will happen you can see that only the 16 bit part of the whole ex register is going to be replaced by the new value and rest of the register is still going to have the previous value since ax means what half of the ex so you can see that the half of ex is still there that is this this value is still over here but the next half is what it is the ax register so the ax part is going to be replaced by the new value and this garbage is still over there next i am moving the 32 bit value into the 32 bit register so there is no issue it means we should know that all this uh, 32 bit value is going to be replaced so the ex is now this whole value this whole value got replaced by this because that uh, you can see the this is also 32 bit ex is also 32 bit so they both are going to be exactly same and next what i'm doing i'm moving this value zero into the ax that is i'm moving uh, zero into the half of the half part of the eax it means that uh, we we see the half through the you can say the right hand side okay so the half is this right the half of it is 4 so this half is getting replaced by 0 because ax means half of ax is got replaced by 0 and you can see the left hand side that is upper half of the eax is still the previous garbage value is not going to be replaced so we can see this through the uh, result as well you can see and the results are same you can compare like this all is going to be written in the ax then only the lower half of ax that is al is replaced and then you can see the half of ax is you can see here replaced and like this we have discussed this thing already so you can this is how the dump register call works that we can get the values of all the registers as well as these flags we will discuss flags later on in some lecture so all the flags all the uh, register values are split on the screen by this call next coming back to our uh, slides you can see we have discussed this overlapping uh, values thing already next we have already seen this thing through our coding already right now like copying smaller values to the larger ones that, and this is about registers basically what i am doing i have some uh, you can say the variable of a 16 bit variable 16 bit integer number Firstly, I am clearing my ECX. You can see the whole 32 bit value with 0, which means any of the garbage is replaced by 0, no garbage is left. And then only the half part of the EX is going to be storing 1, and rest half, or you can say the um, upper half of the ECX register is containing 0, lower half is containing 1. In this way, we can avoid the garbage by replacing the value with 0. Okay and we have two efficient ways of uh, dealing with this thing of avoiding garbage values and those are two instructions called as move zx and move sx like here move zx means the here z means moving zero right so we will see it here clearly we have some uh, you can say variable of type d word that is we have some 32 bit number and we have also 8 bit number okay Firstly, I'm moving the 32 bit number into the EX, that is, whole EX is going to be replaced by this new value because these two are the same 32 bit values. Then I'm displaying the result, it will display the value of EX as this. 
and here instead of using only move ex i am doing move cx and what it will do it will just you can say this uh, new value is what what i am moving inside ex that is 11 11 in hexadecimal so we know that uh, values get replaced by the you can say right hand side or the lower side so this 11 comes over here from the lower side and the rest of the side that is the upper side of the ex register automatically get replaced by zero because of this instruction it get replaced by zero and we have seen already if we don't if we just use move ex simply the half part that is this whole one two three four five six till six it was it will still be over there and just this will get replaced okay but with the help of this move cx instruction this automatically moves zero over, over here we have seen in our previous slides here that we were explicitly moving zero this thing or you can say this thing is same but we don't here need to uh, move zero especially or explicitly it will be there in the ex register automatically by the help of this move cx instruction and no value will get replaced but zero will come automatically okay and then we have move sx instruction this s indicates sign it will uh, see the sign of the most significant bit we know that sign get uh, you can say that sign is uh, seen by the most significant bit like here the most significant bit is you can see the most left part is the most significant bit one indicates negative bit zero indicates a positive bit okay so we have some binary number here it is written b b means binary number h means hexadecimal number and d means decimal number this is our binary number this is again our binary number s d word means signed uh, double word and s byte means signed byte these are our data types here you will see i'm moving this one d word into ex that is 32 bit uh, uh, register is containing the 32 bit number you can see this whole ex get replaced by this here we have no any issue in, in the next instruction you can see i'm moving this you can say this one byte that is only a 8 bit number into the 32 bit number if i was not using this sx and only move move ex it means that my previous ex value would still be there and only this half part would get replaced over here but this we have we would still have this garbage value inside our ex but here this move sx instruction is doing what it just sees the you can say sign of this variable you can see we can see from here that the sign is what one one means this is a negative number so that's why it does what it will firstly replace this whole value into the ex register you can see from the starting from the lower part or the right part this value gets replaced over here and then we don't have zeros over here because we are not using move cx we are using move sx so move sx instruction will move all the ones to the upper part of the ex register why because it is our negative number and we, um, if uh, if we were not using this sx then this all garbage would come over here again okay so this garbage is getting avoided by move sx instruction by using the sign bit okay so uh, here we have some last instruction that is exchange instruction and it uh, it exchanges the contents of the two operands that is and uh, this uh, x c uh, c h and g as it is then we have we can move the instructions that is register comma register that from regi register to the register then register to memory memory to register we have to in this memory is like you can say variable okay but uh, you can you have to remember one thing that here we cannot use any immediate operands so you can say the direct constants okay you cannot do direct constants over here or, or we cannot also use two variables so you can say two memory and memory like this we cannot use this only these are the allowed formats we have to remember it like here you can see the rules are same as the move instruction but exchange does not accept immediate operands like uh, memory comma memory is not allowed constant values are not allowed okay 
and its application is what we are uh, we use it in our assembly language for the sorting purpose because we know for the sake of sorting we have to uh, you can say swap two values so in that case this exchange ex uh, instruction is very helpful exchange does not work if both operands are variables example over here you can see in a we have the hexadecimal number that is uh, and these ones in b we have the hexadecimal of twos you can say i'm moving this a into the ex register b into the ebx register i'm displaying the results it will give me first what a equals this b equals this it will display me this or you can say that eax equals this value and ebx equals this value but after using this exchange and you can you have to remember that instructions are not case sensitive so you can write it like this or in capital whatever you like ex comma ebx it means that ebx value is getting replaced by the ex value and ex value is getting replaced by the ebx value as we know that from this ex is what it is containing this eax is containing this but after this instruction eax is now containing this eax so you can say a is containing this it would be better if you write ex here and ebx here because this is how we will get the result on the console by using this call temp register so ex will gives us this tools and b will contain or ebx will contain these ones so this is how we swapped two numbers or exchange two register values by uh, we can see you can run it yourself by uh, using this instruction so you will get the same results that's it for today so thank you